Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Sim Airport where today we are hopefully going to finalize a bunch of stuff. We have stuff that we haven't even implemented in the airport yet. There's a few things I want to kind of make efficient, add some stuff, I've got a couple of gaps I kind of need to fill in. But also, I want to take a look at about trying to strike some deals with the airline companies and uh, I want to see if we can get them in, if we can utilize the conference rooms and the offices a lot more and hopefully get one of them like really really liking us. I'm thinking ever since we implemented the big runway, the big boy. Uh, I haven't really got any big boy aircraft coming in whatsoever, which is only going to cause more stress to you boys airport. So I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm thinking Emirates. If it's possible, if I can get that airline <laughs> as a partner, kind of ship or whatever you want to call it, then that would be amazing. Now, guys, if you are enjoying this series and want to see more, please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're under here, make sure you do subscribe so you're notified when the next episode does come out. But before we do, uh, we might need to reconfigure some of how this works and looks. Now, when you kind of do strike a deal, I forget what it's called. I literally forget what it's called right now. If I say if I click on Lufthansa right now, it's oh, negotiate a current deal. So when you strike a deal with them, they require like X amount of offices. They want like a visitor's reception area, conference room and all that kind of jazz. But the problem is it needs to be kind of connected to the outside of the airport without going through security. Which is not a problem because obviously you can sort it out. You can turn one of these escalators uh, to come up and in they come. It's not a problem. But we want to do a little bit more than that. Just a tad bit more than that. And what I think I'm going to do, will, because I need all them to go down. So I might need to build a additional kind of random out of the way slightly um, escalator that does kind of go up. I'm trying to think where I could put it. Um, I can actually pull it here where the fountain is, having two go up. Which will kind of fall around here. Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. I, I can already feel the stress now about to happen. So before we jump into it then, right, we're going to have to get rid of some of this stuff. So if I first kind of dezone this little section there, I might as well go to here as well. Do you know what? Let's uh, dezone all of this. So we're making the exit funnel a lot wider. I'll get rid of all that as well. Right, we're going to reconfigure this whole system. It's not perfect. We need to make it perfect. And I'll get rid of all of that to here. So let's have a little fast forward then and get our workers in. We're going to have to build some more foundations as well to extend a little bit further down. So all the sales reps, they'll just literally move uh, to somewhere else. There's there's no big issues just there. Uh, we're waiting for the, the builders then. No. Aha, here they are. So they're going to come in right now and literally destroy everything. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> I'm hoping I've got to hire like hundreds of them like I have to do recently. We're building a freaking runway right now. Because that was a little bit OTT, wasn't it? It was a little bit OTT. So get all them out. There we go. Everyone's confused and has no idea where they're meant to be going. I don't know why. All I did was delete some walls. <laughs> But yeah, if I keep it like that then, what I'll do as well um, is, if I kind of plan it just right, I'm going to get rid of all of this here. So get rid of that. We'll quickly dezone it now as well. Ooh, I'm, going, I'm going too far with the dezoning. There we go. And then we'll clone all this and we'll push it a little bit further up. Now, when it comes to doing this, right, the reason I made this wider so I can get the little escalator things in as well. Dismantle you. <clears throat> and then we should be rocking the rolling boys. I'll just wait for it to all disappear slightly. We'll lay down some more foundations and claim more of this space. And then the rest can be everything else, pretty much. So I'm just waiting for that, uh, that fountain now to be uh, skedaddled. And then we can drop it escalator in. So, escalator going up. Now, what space have we got? We've got one, two, three. So I could do three going up. And maybe turn one into going down. Mm. That would be a tough one, wouldn't it, to decide? 
Right, if I build three going up, so I know then that they're coming out at this little section. And then construction rise. We'll build a wall going around. So you can see why I kind of got rid. Oh, hang on, I gotta go this way. Of so much stuff. Right, if I cancel that project. There we go. You can see why I got rid of so much stuff right now. To kind of squeeze it all in. And what might be handy then, because of the way I've got that set up, I can maybe do the little walkways to kind of get people down here a lot quicker. Maybe. Ooh, there's too much to decide, boys. There is too much to decide. But that is to go... Oh, that's set to go straight down, isn't it? Yeah. Now, while that does work, I don't really want to do it that way. I'm definitely going to have, if I can select that escalator right now, to switch directions. So you're going to get the ones that like to go and claim their baggage and then skedaddle out of here. And then you have the ones that could go down there. But then does that put too much pressure on this section as people are trying to get out? Maybe I'll just keep these to all... We'll keep all these to kind of coming up. So it looks like they're running to it, but we'll kind of switch things around. So moving walkways then. If I do it... Right, if I did it like here, there, and there, because this whole place is going to be kind of free and open. So if I just kind of add some either side right now, some of these people are confused and don't know where they're going. <laughs> I think I've broken the gambled again. Uh, at least this way, we've got it to a, a kind of... Um, system where they can just quickly go in there, skedaddle right down and they'll walk around it. That might be the quicker option for them. So wait for the builders to get all this done. Right now, it normally just take a little bit of a while to build these uh, little, what are they called? Moving walkways. Can we just, can we, can we just right now confirm that we are all going to call it from this day forward walker laters? I mean, I'm sure there's a correct word for it, but to me that just sounds perfect. Right, wave. Oh my goodness, there's so much people exiting. That's why I need these little walkulators. <laughs> so they don't run down here and then do a sharp turn. I've got to get all the flooring in as well, which will be kind of be handy. Uh, let's do the actual flooring anyway. So it's the little crissy crossy pattern, which is this style. And if we get this going all the way down to here, that would be great. Still building those, building those walkulators, boys. So the reason they're walking down straight as well, because that's where the majority of the, the kind of path is, so you get that plus 5% walk speed. So get them to all do that. Right, we'll redo the door system. Um, going across these as entry points for the staff. And then I'll do some more offices going down there, and then this bit here will be the entry point for you know the conference rooms and the meeting rooms and the reception for all the airline stuff and whatnot so that's it anyway i don't know how many people are going to actually use it you would like to think somebody will use it but it could be the fact that maybe i should have moved it down by one hmm i'll wait till all the all the floorings in because that makes a huge difference as well yeah and then what we'll do as well, then we'll get the foundations in. So this is literally going to cripple my whole airport again. Because I'm requesting them to get... I don't know why, it's like all of a sudden at this moment in the game right now, to, even to get the, like, the most simplest tasks, takes like a gazillion years. I don't know why they just choose to do that. And plus they're also going to go off and do maintenance very soon as well. It kind of reminds me of Prison Architect. That's the kind of the same thing. The bigger you build the prison, the longer it takes to get some of the mundane tasks done. Now, I don't know if it's because as time goes on, you hire more and more workmen, and that kind of slows down in a weird way, where one workman would kind of do one job and then move to the next. Because you've got like 100, they all pick a job, and then, you know, everyone has to wait until there's another job available. It's a weird situation. It's like these guys here now struggling to get the walls up. I don't know why I put walls in when I can just put straight up doors in. I like to be difficult, apparently, guys. I like to be difficult. So get those doors in there. And like this right now, which should be a very simple task. Takes ages. Now, am I causing traffic jams? I hope not. 
I hope not. But I've also got to get more foundations down over here. So cover the, all this up as well. Glorious. Should be good. Ah, there we go. Now they're starting to use some of these little walkways. Nice. So this funnels them out a little bit quicker, which is all good. But uh, yeah, I don't want to negotiate a deal just yet. I want to get all this stuff in and then we'll figure out what deals are possible. So again, waiting for to get all this done. We are fast forwarding, right? Yeah. We are fast forwarding. So if I clone... Actually, ooh, do I clone? I mean, I could clone this here and get another office in there. But the offices at this point are a bit small. Ooh, I could do that and get one on a one. But you kind of then lose the double walkway. It wouldn't really matter, would it? Now, if I did that there... That would go here. You get the walkway split. Ooh. Ooh. It's a bit awkward, but ooh. We'll go with it. Staff door. Just there. Beautiful. Right, did I manage to get all this up here done then? They actually did. Wow. GG, everybody. So, if I clone... Actually, no, I won't do that there because I'm going to use. I'm going to turn that into the other stuff. I'll wait till the rest of this is done. So they're almost there, guys. They're almost there. Working as slow as ever. Yeah, they're using both sides of the walkways right now. Let's go. It's amazing, boys. It's absolutely amazing right now. Uh, okay, this is all done here then. So if I cloned two. Okay, we're not getting two in. Well, we're not getting too in on that direction. If I went this way. Ooh, we could do it with the one walkway. Right, pause. Okay, no, 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 no. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not. Cancel project. <laughs> um, what is it exactly about these rooms and their sizes? So, offices... Requires it doesn't say anything about it needs to be like this or this. So that's a five by five. That becomes a five by five. But I can't do it as a five by five because we need to have a splitting wall in the middle. So construction wise, if I went there as a three, so one, two, three, and you're left with a two, so that wouldn't work. We've just got like a really awkward space. If that makes sense. So that is a 10. So if I did a 4 and a cross. And I did a 4 and a cross. And that becomes an office. Is that possible as an office? Because if that is. Then we can do some smaller versions. To squeeze them in. I mean it's not the best. But could it possibly be done? I mean, let me go back to it again. Office. It doesn't say it needs to be like a certain size. Because this maintenance here says minimum size 5x5. Five five. The office doesn't. It just says requires a space with a door. Now, door. Right. If I literally dropped you there and you there and then play. Should we just see? There's only one way to find out, isn't there? And that's to kind of add it in. It doesn't mean I'll be able to get so many more doors in. That's exciting. Hmm. This is interesting. That means a little bit of a gap I've got here I could implement an office in. In a weird way, couldn't I? Now, if I... Because I'm pure lazy. Right. What's going on here? There we go. Uh, clone this little set of table and chairs for the um, the office. And we'll just wait for our builders to kind of complete that. And if it's all A-OK -okay with the office, then 
genius. I might redo the whole area. <laughs> Sally Egg, what are you doing to us right now? What are you doing to us right now, boy? But it's for a good cause, trust me. Because what I want to get further in up here is a completely different story. Right, just wait for the builders then. Because, you know, they, they like to take for days. Right, if this works... Which I'm sure it would. But if this works... Then, yeah, yeah. What are we waiting for now? Okay, it works. Now, I knew it would. So now I'm going to go against everything that I've just done and dismantle. Right, trust me, I got good reason. Because it means that in this smaller area, I can then literally place in as many offices as I need. And then I can leave this space over here for all the conference room stuff. There will be more offices up there as well. Don't get me wrong. There will be more offices up there. But it gives me the freedom and the space to add in multiple and just, just so many in general. So zones, if I now dezone all of this. Right. I'll wait for the workmen to finish because, you know, you know what they're like, guys. They like to take forever. It's going to completely throw off all of these people, but, I mean, there's not enough offices for everywhere else. So if I pause now, right, and we go construction, what side of it? And going all the way down here, a 22. So if I gave it by a 3 and went down, and let's say it had a 3, a 3, a 3, a 3. And a two just there. Then that's fine. But I'm wondering if maybe I could do something a bit bigger. But if I went up to here and then we back it on one another. So if I can get all this done, this layout. And it should work. Now, at some point, we're going to meet down at the bottom, which is going to completely throw us all off. So, if I just get this in for now, so door. All right, put a door there. I want to dismantle you, dismantle you. And put a door going all the way. All right, put play mode. So I'll get all this done. And I can clone the rest because it will be so much quicker and easier. So like I said, they're not, gonna, they're not really going to like what I'm trying to accomplish. But seeing as it don't really matter, and let's be honest, it doesn't really matter, does it? Bam. Bam. Oh, I don't know if, whether these are going to matter. Because of how small they are. And then let this <laughs> finalize. Oh, man. I kind of feel bad, but at the same time, I know. I know that it's for the greater good. It's just we've got like 27 years for the workmen to build this. So I might as well also dismantle that door and that door. Because obviously everything we, we're implementing right now is changing. So a wall and a wall there. So a lot of stuff will be getting there. But it's not a lot of stuff though, is it? That's the, the annoying thing. It just feels like it's taking forever. Uh, right. You okay there, dude? Uh, leave unable to... I don't know what you're doing. Even I'm confused. <laughs> So once the majority of all this is in, I can then clone it. I'm free to clone. And then we can sort that out. Oh my goodness me. It's painful. It's painful to watch. Uh, right, so that's done over there. All right, the last few people are now coming in to sort all this out. So if I get the clone tool ready, what are we now missing? 
So just this little section here. So if I clone all of this, just for the sake of then being able to... Oh, no, I can't do that, sorry. I'll clone just this section so I can drop you in there. Now, when we get to there, obviously the spacings aren't going to work out. Okay? We know that. That's where we apply a little bit of magic, so to speak. If I zoom right in, if I get all of this... Now, in reality, it would go here, but... Oh, it actually fits in perfect. And all i got to do then is delete that extra back wall section. And then it's like it was always meant to be. It was like it was always meant to be. So, give them time to do that. We're now focusing in on up here. So, we need to have then out of these rooms that we don't have in yet, the conference room... Meetings between airline executives and your administrations take place in these conference rooms. These are vital for improving communication. Now, from that, we need a... Uh, where is it? Where is it right now? A... Vis ah, there we go. Visitor's reception. <laughs> now, access... Uh, to access areas not meant for ordinary passengers uses a brief barrier. Uh, okay, so this is what we want. Now, I don't know if one reception can handle multiple conference rooms. I would like to assume it can. Right. So, is there a, a minimum size on a conference room of 4 by 4 So, if I bring... What's the whole distance here? 19. So, if I did an 8... And then that will be a... That's a 10. Where, where, where am I getting these lengths from? 9 by 9 so is that a 9 there? Yeah, 9 by 9 is... Da -da 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 18. Take away the 1 for the wall. There we go. And if I do a 2... And what was that size again? That was an 11. I don't know why I've chose to be an 11, but... It is what it is. Now I've got to de-zone it. Oh my goodness. Sadiac! Alright, back to the conference room. So I've got a 2... Oh, I've done it again. I've got a two wide corridor, and I'll do this one by a... I've already forgotten the size. How shocking is this? A 9 by 11. So 9 by 8 is what we'll do. So it gives that extra walkway space. Oh, it feels so glitchy and laggy. Are they still building over here? I mean, the borderline all done anyway. So we do the 11 just there. And I'll go the whole hog here. So they'll come in here, walk around, and pretty much borderline go down. So construction-wise, if I pause, the oh, I didn't equate for the wall. Guys, listen. Even I, at times, question, what am I even doing? Okay, so you don't need to question it, even though you do every day. I know. <laughs> I know. You ain't gonna tell your boy. So, coverage rooms, bam, bam. Uh, get rid of the zoded for when the autosave is complete. You. And then the visitor's reception, which would go in something like this. I'm going to put the visitor reception throughout the whole zone in through here. Okay, so it all backs onto it. Construction-wise, we have a wall going across. And, of course, we need the doors. Now, the reception doesn't need a secure door. So we can do, like, a nice big glass sliding door to make a... You know, we can make a statement. I'll do a double. Double slidey. And then doors in general for this. So we'll have one there. One there. 
uh, these, I make use of the corridor going all the way around. So without doing the furniture or anything like that then, uh, we've got all that in. We'll then get now all the zoning down here done. So these become offices. And there's plenty of them. So when we strike a deal with the airport right now, we've, we've got them in. Construction wise, dismantle the additional wall bits. So a couple of sales reps take those offices right now. Why are these guys all of a sudden getting like, they come down here, then they, the question marks pop above their head. Are they truly that confused on where they need to go? I don't know. I don't know <coughs> what's real life anymore in this game. But now we wait for the workmen. And then we got to do the painstaking task of dropping down all the floor. So zones, offices. All right, is that now classes all being enclosed? Should be. Let's, let, let's go, boy. There we go. Right, pause again. Um, construction, the flooring. So, this is expensive. Get all this in. Nice wooden floor. Now, play mode. Now, people are getting confused there. Like, they don't then all of a sudden know where to go. Leave on... LRT ask Well the LRT's over there Are they getting confused on Is it because I don't know what it actually is Do I need to put down those little kind of um, PR systems so they know where they're going I mean they're confused for a split second And then they update their route and off they go So I don't know Honestly I don't know Now it's a big task I'm then Now pretty much getting them to do With all this flooring so it's now a case of waiting and waiting and doing some more waiting. So while we do that waiting, uh, where's Emirates then? Now the only reason I pick Emirates is because they do have the ability to have the big boy aircraft. Like that one over there, the PM Flight 300. Um, so I think it will be good to try and get these guys in. We don't have a deal with them at the moment, but we'll try and get one. Now we've got locked here. I gotta research the standby gates to get the uh, KLM added in. Now Air France, do you have any 300s? No. Um, Etihad, or Etihad, however you wanna pronounce it. You ain't got any 300s? No. At the minute it's just Emirates. United Airlines? You got any 300s? No. Who's the other big one then? Is it British Airways? Where's British Airways? You got any big boy 300s? No, you're all 240s. Um, did I check Air France? Yeah. So at the minute it's just Emirates. With the big boys. <laughs> so we'll give it a bit of time. Uh, they're still not... I think, it doesn't even look like they've done anything. What's going on? What are we waiting for, workers? What are we waiting for right now? Right, I'm loving what we've done here, though. It kind of uh, gives them a little bit of a boost to skedaddle. Nice little boost there. Everybody happy. At this point. Waiting for the flooring to get done. Like I said. The further you. The bigger you build your airport. The longer it takes to get stuff done. I don't know where the logic is in that. I don't know where the logic is in that. But it's happening. 
We've done all the bottom offices anyway, so that's good. So now we're just skedaddling all through this. So while they do do the speedier process, conference rooms, what do we need in here? So conference room requires a fully enclosed space with a door. Um, right. And then what, what do we need in there then? Ops. Requires one conference table. Conference table. Ooh. Oh, hang on. So we got a couple of variations of conference table we can use. So pause for a second. We've got glass ones. We've got these dark wood ones. Oh, that's a big one. I got the large glass table. Oh yes, we got the light wood. I'm gonna go glass. One, two, three. Do I need chairs for these? I'm not sure if I need chairs. Do I need chairs? I've got multiple tables in. I'm not quite sure. Requires a reception desk. Reception desk. So I'll get two of these bad boys in. Uh, this access it requires access to a light. Like, come on, they could walk up here. Oh no, they can't because oh, because this is still zone security here. So if I dezone this, so technically security begins there. That then should, yeah, it now passes. It just needs a reception desk. Ah. Maybe that's why a couple of people are getting a little bit confused. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? But. Right, ready for these reception desks to get built. What's that happening, boy? Right, there we go. It's going to require new staff members as well. But that is kind of sorted. So, I don't know if I need chairs. That's the thing. Right, let's... Kumpf. Um. Right, let's get different styles of conference tables now. We'll do that one there. We'll do this one there. Let's get some skiddy versions... In. Like I said, I don't know what's going on anymore. So just don't even ask me, okay? Don't even ask me. I'm, I'm probably doing this completely wrong. But just don't judge, okay? Don't judge. <laughs> Uh, okay, right. That's all in there. We've got beautiful, lots of beautiful conference rooms now all in. So we can finally strike that deal, right? We can finally strike that deal. And I want to give it a go with Emirates. I'll give them everything they, they require and that they want. And if anything that we haven't got in, we'll get in for them. So let's wait for that last conference room to be done in case they require, I don't know, six conference rooms, <laughs> which I doubt they really would. Um... Right, let's just do it. Let's just do it. So, flight management then. Oh, what's going on over here? I got issues. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are they all merged in? What happened there, guys? Seriously, what happened there with them? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Right, Everett, speak to your boy. So, oh, they got a couple of flights right now, 300. So, let's, yeah, let's put it to play. Let's negotiate, wait. Why can't I negotiate a deal? You must accept at least 
eight flights from this airline to negotiate. You also must assign a, a rep. Oh, we oh, we don't have a rep, do we? Um, easy jet. These are all got oh unassigned rep. Right. Do I have eight flights coming from these guys? I don't believe I do. Then do I? Is there a way to kind of find out? Apart from looking at the flight schedule. So Emirates. Let me have a quick look then. Emirates. 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 None there. Uh, none there. We have one here. Or oh, we have two. We have two Emirates flights in general. Right, what we'll do is we'll go back to Emirates. I'll accept all ten planes. Right. I've accepted all ten planes from them right now. And we'll do this ourselves. So... When it comes to, I, I, I'm going to prioritize Emirates right now. So like Tui, we're going to cancel yeah to get your big boy Emirates in. Okay, and then we'll start in. We'll start here. So there is a gap there. I could squeeze in. Oh, I could also implement some up here. Now obviously it's all going to come down to the runway. That can't fit in because of the runway size. Oh, hang on. What's that issue now? Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I'm doing it wrong, aren't I? Hang on. What are these gates? These are the E gates. There we go. I'm trying to put it on the D. The E, it's all here. It's all here. What am I talking about? I'm so dumb. Right, LaFansa, you gotta go. Singapore, you gotta go. LaFansa, you gotta go. Singapore, you gotta go. Alright, drop you here. American Airlines, get out of here. Right, and then it's now this time. So, Singapore. Singapore. They're going to hate me, Singapore, aren't they? They really are. So, that's all those flights in right now, which commercial fees not really happy about. But I can negotiate with them. So, get rid of all this. Right, Emirates negotiations. So, upsell your contracts to airlines by offering facilities in exchange for higher fees. You can also request additional planes here. So, offered flights. Offered flights uh, up to free XL planes. So select the number of planes you're looking for, uh, looking to negotiate for. Set the time block for them to arrive and make sure your airport has the right facilities to serve them. The more they are satisfied with your service, the more flights they will offer you uh, and the less demands they will make. Okay. So time preferences. Let's go for a... Should we go for early morning? They would prefer the afternoon, 84%. So let's call them up. Okay, so this it, they're already half uh, kind of happy with. I, I send, I take it with the current standing. But let me see what we can do. So they want two first class lounges, which we we have. Um, flight crew lounges. We don't have any of those. Seven offices. Aircraft gates, they want three of them. Stores, two. CAFs, one. Conference rooms, one. Um, they want shares. I'm going to bring the shares down. Because that's a bit too high, isn't it? Uh, right. Should we send the offer? I feel like they've got such a good deal out of us. I feel like we're coming worse off. Um, you got robbed. 
Coming from the meeting, you can overhear the laughter from the airline executives. Why can't I just I, leave you? I boy? told you. I told you they got such a good deal. No wonder they think we were robbed. But we'll give them what they want now. We'll kind of overindulge on them a little bit. And then, then when they realize how good this freaking airport is right now and how much cash money Moolah they're making, and then all of a sudden they're like, um, excuse me, Seniac, we would like to renew the deal because uh, we really, really want to stay. And that's when I go, bam, and hit him with the real facts. We'll see what happens. But there's two. Well, we got a couple of flights we're going to now add in. Right. So I'm going to get rid of Singapore Airline and LaFansa here. Now, I've got to build the... Is it flight? I can't remember what I've got to build right now, to be honest with you. That's in. Um, right. Emirates. Missing. Flight crew lounges. So, if I quickly get in the foundations for this here... And try and try and see if I can scrap together two lounges there. Let's see what happens. I'm waiting for all the workers right now to come in and fill up all these offices. Or have I got to kind of select? Oh no, I've got I've got to assign them, haven't I? Right, we'll start over here on this side then. So assign. Oh, assign. Have I got to deselect it and then select it? Assign. 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 And assign the seven offices there. Uh, how many conference rooms did they want again? Sorry. Uh, they wanted one. One cafe, two stores. So we'll give them this big boy one over here. So two stores. We'll give them one upstairs. This one downstairs. One cafe with a sign. And then what else was it? Uh, three extra large gates. Two... Flight crew lounges, two first class lounges. Now, funnily enough, I've only got two first class lounges anyway. <laughs> so, assign. So, the only first class lounges I got are now solely for Emirates. This is now an Emirate hub, basically. Um, so, assign to. Wait, how do I make airline exclusivity? Ah. Uh, so when it says airline exclusivity, does that mean it's going to get rid of all the other planes on it? Okay, this is interesting. So what am I now missing? Ah, it does. It actually does. I'm going to have to scrap... Oh, that's interesting. Right, I'll, I'll come back to that in just a second. Because now it is a case of just the two missing flight crew lounges, which we will get in. So this is kind of throwing me off a little bit now. So if I can replace... So if I drop, say, you here to squeeze this Emirates in there. If I can first replace the, the Emirates where possible. So you... Right, I'm going to kind of. I'm going to move that down to move that there to squeeze that in here. Even though it made no difference because it was all in there anyway. But I've got to move it to on these these three down here basically. So throw you up here. It's then bottom three. So Emirates comes down there. You go up there. Any other Emirates? No. Oh, it kind of 
completely throws us all off, doesn't it? Right, I've got no space around here then, so... Unfortunately, can't have these here. But we, we can then eventually... I mean, we do then technically lose money in that sense, don't we? I'm trying to space that a bit. It's not the best scenario. So we've got to say goodbye to, to these guys right now. But it's completely understandable. It can only be Emirates. Because that is the deal we've struck with them. So I take it then Emirates. You got any more planes for me? Not yet. But there will eventually be more available. Okay so. Does mean we get last passengers now coming in. Just solely down to the fact that. And <laughs> so many planes now cancelled. Other airlines are going to hate us for it. But we're trying to strike up a partnership here with Emirates. And they've got the Emirates big boy planes now coming in. That can have up to 262 on board. So, airline aside, office must not be blocked by staff door. Oh, I forgot about that. I honestly forgot about that. They need a reception door. A, a reception area. Right, let me, get, let me just wait for this to get done. Because it might be a case of maybe I, I scrap... Um this I completely forgot that you kind of need to have the selected offices for the airline to be on a reception section too completely forgot about that right can I build a wall to oh I messed that up there big time build the wall there to semi split that into two rooms I'm hoping there's not a, um... A minimum size for this. Zoning. Flight crew. 5x5. Five five. <laughs> That's not a 5x5, five five, Celiac. Right, cancel. Cancel. Cancel just a second. Flight crew. Right, I do it like that. So in reality, that's how it works. So let me now quickly clone some offices. One there. Bam. How many did I need again? Six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine that they can use. I've had to now squeeze it in just for the sake of being able to get it all in. So, my bad, guys. My bad. But we'll have all these demands satisfied very soon, trust me. We, we really, really will. So, construction, doors. I'm still going to go for them sliding doors. Uh, zones, flight crew, reception, where you gone? Where's the reception gone? Visitors reception here. So get rid of that zoning. Office. Bam, bam, bam. So if I assign, assign, then pause, because now I've got to unassign all of these. And what's annoying is I've got a diesel. I got to cancel them every time I do it, which is annoying. Annoying in the in the best of times. Right there we go. So assign. Sign. All right, play.
And then the last one, a sign. Sector cannot be vacated. What? What, what? <laughs> what do you mean that it can't be vacated? In what world can it not be? Is it the staff door? Don't tell me it's now because it's a staff door. Because then, then they're technically not classed as staff, is what you're trying to say. Why, why can't I just make this easy for you, boy? And say, this is what you need to do. This is what it is. Do it. Why they got to be so awkward? I get it, because they're not technically my staff. I'm just renting out the offices in, 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 a, in a weird way. Right, leave me alone now, Emirates. Leave your boy alone. You've got what you wanted. Just leave me alone. I wonder if this will now kind of reduce the amount of um, people missing flights right now because we have less Emirates flights in. Or less flights in general. Right, the workmen on their way. There's a couple on their way, I can see. I could then start assigning certain desks and stuff for Emirates only. But does that mean I'm really, like, favouriting Emirates then at this point? This is still not accessible. Alright, I unassigned it, then reassigned it. Still not having it. I don't know what more I've got to do. You've got everything you could potentially want. Alright, so Emirates then. We've upheld our end of the deal. Right. They're not liking the commercial fees, but obviously that's how I make the majority of my money anyway. So I don't know what more I can tell you, boys. I don't know what else I can tell you. Uh, let me check the flight schedule then. So where are we currently at on the day? It is 2 a.m. So nothing's coming in until 6 a.m. And the first plane that comes in is the one that needs 300 runway space. I'm not sure what's wrong with this, man. That's really weird, isn't it? It's got the door it needs. Oh, I don't know, boys. I don't know right now. I just want to see this big boy airplane coming in. So, it comes in about 6-ish. And it'll be the first one that lands. And it will be on this runway. So, it's now 5am in the morning. So, we wait for this to now arrive. Which it shouldn't be too long. Any moment now it should approach. And there we go. That's got a funky little pattern on. It's got, oh, it's got the 2020 Expo livery on. So that comes in. Alright. Oh, we've got another one. The same as well. Same livery. And uh, that is now... Unload. With so many people it wants to get on. 439. Yo. I know I said I, I, I've got less people now coming in. Because of uh, the size of the plane. It don't matter, mate. It don't matter. Because that's like two planes in one. That is like two planes in one right now. That is ridiculous, boys. That is ridiculous right now. I like the pattern though, on it. I do like the pattern. But, um, yeah. Not bad. So, did it completely fill up? It needs two more passengers to get on. There we go. 100% boarded and taken off in time. GG. 
everybody. Let's go. So, even though that's really weird and why it doesn't want to do what it wants to do, apparently the sector is not accessible. It is, because everywhere else is accessible. So I don't really know what to say. 92% um, passenger um, kind of thoughts right now. Great stuff. So once you give up your first class to an airline, then you need to add in other first classes for the other airlines. Uh, are Emirates willing to give us any more flights yet? Not yet. They are not willing, so. But yeah, that one's cool, man. 300 runway length it needs. So I wonder if over time, each negotiated room has a score, which reflects how, I mean, I've got to make the rooms a lot nicer anyway, but yeah. I wonder if over time, stats increase with them. Who knows? But we'll end it here today, guys. Hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So, so good. <laughs>